Hey drummers, Gary Williams is here, and today in my next reaction and analysis video, we're going to be listening to the great Ginger Baker of the legendary band Cream. So this is a great live concert, good footage, good sound. I just sampled it to make sure all the volumes will be set. So let's check out the great Ginger Baker, hearing him play with the legendary Eric Clapton and Jack Bruce. Common amongst jazz drummers. We have that in the Bouncing with an eighth note movement. Uh, drum solo. <laughs> Audience is really ready. Kind of a six eight. He's got both feet going. Nice. Oh. Ah. A little shuffle between the bass drum and hi-hat. Checking it out, the pant leg rolled up. This was an old trick amongst drummers, especially with the bass drum pedal, so you didn't get the beater caught. And back in the days when there was like bell bottoms or flares, <laughs> you had extra denim. So guys would just get in the habit of doing that or even tuck it into their sock, kind of like you're riding a 10-speed bicycle. What's very cool about this part of the solo is he's doing this really Afro-Cuban 6-8 kind of thing. Dang, dang, stack it, gang, gang, dang, dang, stack it. Really getting into that sort of tribal kind of vibe there going around the toms keeping the feet steady then he got into where he had the hi-hat staying steady on the down being went boot -um, boot -um, boot -um, boot -um. So he had kind of a shuffle vibe going between the feet. So some very cool stuff going on. Lots of theme and variation and repetition going down, ascending, very melodic, very cool ideas rhythmically. Let's check it out. Okay, those are seven stroke roll. And he's doing them kind of in a triple of feel. Very cool polyrhythmic idea he's got going there.
Okay, those were like six stroke rolls. <laughs> Similar to that, but he went from that triple to triple to bitty 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 bitty. I love how he mixed that feel up there. Single stroke fours, down, up, down, up. Very cool stuff. Ah. Okay, those are flam accents. Left-handed ones, kind of the stuff that Tony would do, Tony Williams, of course, Vinnie Colaiuta, not the traditional alternating flam accents, but actually left-hand lead. So he's getting that thing, and earlier he was doing some single drag taps, because those are a three-note kind of pattern, so they fit great into this triplet vibe he's got going. Kind of a timbali effect with that high tom. Nice. Also just drag. Nice dress shoes he had. Do, 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 do. Double time the face drum. Cool. Oh. <laughs> nice swing ride pattern. Like but like a four no pattern, but da but who do right with the foot. Five stroke rolls and sixteenth notes. But da, but da, but da. Oh, triplets. Two up, one down. And he's alternating. Left, right, right, left. Nice! Almost like a double Latin cut. Double stroke. Ah! Triplets again. There they are again. Okay, he's doing a lot of this. 
So two up, one down, leading left hand lead, followed by right hand lead. And he's doing hand first, not like John Bonham would did, which would kick left, right, or he'd go left, right, kick often. And Steve Gabb would go kick left, right. He's doing the standard. If you're a right hand player, you're going to want to lead with the right hand or lead with the top of your body and have the bass drum follow. So he's going back and forth. Very cool stuff. This is all very reminiscent of kind of a bebop jazz kind of feel. Obviously, he went into the swing. Clearly a strong background and affinity for jazz. No doubt about that when you listen to him play because much of his solo is comprised of the Afro-Cuban influence, which is where the original jazz swing ride pattern came out of the Afro-Cuban 6-8. Ding, 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 swing a ling. Ding, da, ding, ding, da, ding, ding, da, ding, ding. So he's actually infusing all of this jazz stuff in there. So it's very cool. Let's check it out. Single. Really powerful. Hi hat still on. Okay. I like the tune four, like a jazz drum. Cool angle. Okay, there he's doing just triplets. And you could hear it getting a little flammy, almost sort of the hot for teacher vibe that we hear on that track, because his hands and feet are not exactly lining up precisely, which almost gives it a thicker, cool, more tension than if it was just perfectly aligned. Back to that 6 8. <laughs> Here comes the guy. Yes! Give it to him. Perfect. End of soul. Hit up that groove again. Cue the guys. Pick up your guitars. Let's go. Whoa. Back into the original vibe. How cool is that? Nice! Yo! Don't poke your eye out! <laughs> oh man, we gotta check this out, talk a little bit about this dude. Amazing stuff by the great Ginger Baker. Just love that guy's obvious jazz influence behind the solo, the whole compositional you know, call and response kind of thing, like in trading fours and jazz, there would be a horn player perhaps playing four bars of a solo and the drummer would respond. Well, drummers in that kind of soloistic fashion would kind of trade fours with themselves, play an idea and then maybe do some sort of response to it, the sort of a question answer kind of thing, call and response. Very cool. So that way you can develop a solo and he used a lot of the same kind of six, eight thematic stuff throughout most of it actually until he went into that swing thing and then from there he kept the hi-hat on two and four and basically sold in kind of a jazz feel mixing this great kind of rock sounding drums with this great kind of jazz undercurrent to his playing so the great ginger baker there's been a lot of you have been requesting that i do a reaction and analysis video so there's my first one on this great drummer part of the legend of our drumming history uh, drummers wouldn't play the way they do today if they didn't have somebody like Ginger Baker, along with these other great drummers. So, hope you liked this reaction and analysis. If you did, did, do, <laughs> give me a thumbs up. And if you would, subscribe to the channel, share it with your friends, and I'll see you on the next reaction and analysis video. Take care, and have a great day. Bye-bye.